Three, citizens of liberal welfare states become increasingly narcissistic. You know what the big worry of the Western European is? It certainly isn't, how do I protect countries like America worries about protecting countries, right? 37,000 Americans died saving South Korea from becoming like North Korea. How many Germans died uh, saving South Korea? How many French? How many Italians? How many Spaniards? We die for others. You know what the big, uh, the big concern of Western Europeans? All Western Europeans. Vacation time. They riot over vacation time. They riot over what age is the retirement age. Riots take place over these issues. This is narcissism. It doesn't matter what is happening in Cambodia. It doesn't matter what is happening in Syria. I want my vacation time. And that's it. That's the big concern. I want a four-day work week. I want it all paid for. The European Union has now added under its list of human rights. Are you ready? I couldn't make this up. The right to travel on a vacation to a foreign country. It is now in the list of human rights. It's not a privilege. It's a human right. Number nine, as a result of the left's sympathetic views of pacifism, and because almost no welfare state can afford a strong military, European countries rely on America to fight the world's evil and even to defend them. They have no budget for defense. It's all spent on making sure people can have fewer hours of work and have more vacation time and have more benefits and more benefits and more benefits. And who will fight evil? America. Anyway, they deny there's evil. There really isn't evil. Evil is an American term. You have no idea how many French and German uh, experts and scholars I've had on my radio show who just say, you know, you, uh, especially when President Bush was president, they would say, you know, you Americans like to talk about good and evil. We, we Europeans, we don't talk about good and evil. That, that's, that's very American. And they're right, it is very American. That's entirely right. We do talk about good and evil. That's why we alone have tended to fight evil, not the Europeans. That's very, it's a very big deal. That's another, and that's a phenomenon of the left. You don't fight evil. You fight carbon emissions. <laughs> it's very important you know that. I always say my grandson, I finally have a grandson, when my grandson and hopefully other grandchildren will grow up, they'll say, what did Poppy, what did Poppy Dennis fight? Because in his time, there was a, I, I read there was a great division. He thought they should fight is, is, Islamist terror and communist evil, and others thought that they should fight global warming. Which did Grandpa fight? I hope that my grandchildren know which one I fought. But this is, this is clarifying the differences. I don't know how a person of the left could differ with what I just said.